Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here to do your new moon in Aries reading. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? We are at the beginning of a new astrological year. Um, let me just tell you how the setup of this uh, reading will go. So we'll do a brief introduction. We'll go into your reading. Then at the end of that reading, I'm going to give an explanation of what is going to be occurring with this new moon going into Aries with the, what you need to expect, um, how you need to really start out this astrological year. I'm going to give you some um, information on that. And then after that, we will have your extended reading. Okay. So once again, we'll do a little brief introduction in just a second here. Then we will have your reading. Okay. Then at the end of that, I'll do a brief understanding of what to expect with this new moon going into Aries and this new astrological year that we're embarking on. And then at the end of that, for those that are interested, um, you'll be able to go right into an extended version of today's reading, okay? So first and foremost, thank you so much. As I always start our readings, thank you for all of your love and your support. Thank you for the comments that you continuously, um, you know, leave for me. I read them all. Um, just a little bit about this reading. You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Now, do remember that the messages will flip-flop, okay? So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. Hello to our cross-watchers. Uh, remember to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555 Subscribe to our channel. Like the reading if you think it applies to you. And if it does not, make sure you look at your other signs, okay? And if you think it's going to be uh, worthwhile for someone else, please leave us a like. Um, hit the button that's right next to it, of course, to subscribe. Remember, we do have a Patreon. Oh, my goodness, you guys. We are slowly but surely growing our Patreon. We put a lot of great information over there, included, including all of the extendants, okay? So all of the extendants are over there. You just need to join at the second or third level. Level. And also, don't forget, we do weekly uh, pulling up energy, so you, you'll get all of that as well, which is well worth it for the price that we have it at. And um, don't forget, I think I said this, but let me just make sure that we do have private readings and information pertaining to that can be found below. All right, you and guys. Also you, you guys, let me just state this as well. Um, if you don't know how to set your intentions, this reading will be a guide for you to set your intentions, which is so important. We have the um, an instructional video under our new moon playlist. So go to the new moon playlist and we have a video there showing you how to set your intentions. And I think I'll also put the link to that below. So just look below for that video on how to set your intentions. And also we have done a reading for Cap uh, excuse me, Saturn returning to Aquarius. Saturn has been in a Capricorn for the last three years and Saturn just returned to Aquarius. Um, on this past Saturday, March 21st. That is huge. It is so huge. So make sure you go back and look under the playlist. I think we have it under uh, Saturn Return. Look for that playlist and, um, and that will apply to your sun, your moon, your rising. And also for Aries, we have done a reading for Aries season. We will start doing readings for each season as we come into it. So Aries is a very lengthy video um, about what to expect going into the season. So if you have Aries um, to, in your sun, your moon, your rising, or your Venus sign, or Jupiter, let me encourage you to watch that reading as well, okay? All right, you guys, now on to your reading. Hello, my Virgos. Okay, let's get right into your reading. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as it relates to the new moon occurring on March 24th, 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as they set their intentions for the new moon occurring on March 24th, 2020? Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo? As we begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24th, 2020. 
What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo? What do my Virgos need to know? Okay, making sure we don't have any flickers. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24, 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo? What do our Virgos need to know? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24, 2020? Oh, wow. Virgos, your cards have really come out quickly, I tell you. I think this is the fastest you all have ever come out. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24th, 2020. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, so let's just see what your overall energy is. Romantic feelings, okay? Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So let's just look a little further. So as you're beginning to set your intentions, make sure that you focus in on how you're feeling. When I'm looking at this card, it's making me feel like you really need to just be honest with where your feelings are in a certain situation, right? And understand that it's, it's worth diving a little bit further into whether that's via, you know, via, you know, additional conversations. Well, I know you can't go out anywhere right now, but just trying to take it to another level. Friendship. Maybe you need to be friends first. Make a date for a play day with one or more of your friends. So this relationship here, you could have been friends first, and now it's going a little deeper. Or this could mean that you just need some time to just, you know, go out, have fun, talk with your friends, right? And um, so they can help you understand what your feelings are about the situation. So that could be two different scenarios there. Detach from the situation. I'm feeling like you're needing to talk. You're needing to go through this relationship here because you're having romantic feelings for someone else. And there is a situation that you need to detach from. But I'm feeling like it has nothing to do with this. Okay. I'm feeling like you need to be real about your feelings for someone, okay? Whether this per someone was a friend, okay? Or you need, to, you need your friends to help you try to analyze what's really going on with you because there is truly a situation that you need to detach from. And it may be a situation that's blocking your romantic feelings for this person here. Assertiveness. Okay, stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. All right, so once again, you need to be assertive in this relationship here. And if there's someone that you do not want to be in a relationship with, you need to be assertive about it and really say what your, what your beliefs are. Well, I haven't seen that card in a long time. And forgiveness, well, yeah. See, there's there's a couple scenario situations that's going on. So as you're setting your intentions, make sure that you are focusing on very and being very specific with what you need to do and how you need to do it. Because this is this is like a, a clear cut message. I mean, it really is. You know, needing to forgive, definitely because there's a situation here that you're needing to detach from. And I do feel like there's some forgiveness that needs to take place because there are feelings there, okay? And I feel like, again, these are feelings for someone else, okay? But you're being blocked. You're being blocked from being able to proceed with that situation. You're being blocked from being able to move forward in that situation. So let's just see where you are now. We're going to look a little further. The tarot is going to take us into our extended version. But as I'm going through the tarot, I'm going to see if you have any angel numbers that you can research 
we're going to see the signs that's showing up for you, okay? And uh, I'm going to allow you to see the cards. All right. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, these messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo as it begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? Okay. Are there any more messages? There it is. All right. Okay, so let's see if you have any. Okay, I don't see any angel numbers that's coming forth for you um, in this reading. You are, uh, let me see, you have the seven of wands here. So let me just show you the cards and then we'll go through and see what signs have shown up. The page of cups. The three of pentacles. The king of wands in reverse. And your overarching energy is the five of pentacles, okay? <clears throat> now, you could be dealing with a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But just understand, it could be any sign, and they're just taking on the energy and the characteristics of that sign, okay? So now we'll go over into your extended reading, and in the extended reading, we will read what the cards are saying here. We're going to relate it to what's happening above, and then we're going to, oh, wow, okay. So we're going to look behind here and just to um, give you a little clarity on how to move forward. In this, in this situation, okay? Give you a little advice. Um, don't forget, if you don't know how to set your new moon intentions, information pertaining to that can be down below. I actually put the link there for you, okay? All right, my loves, meet me on the other side. Okay, you guys, just a little bit about what is going to be occurring with this new moon in Aries. First of all and foremost, do remember that Aries is the first zodiac sign. It is a, it's the very first sign. It is a fire sign, okay? And it is also a cardinal sign. What does that mean? Let me just give you an example of what cardinal means. Let's say, for instance, you are about to bake a cake and you turn the oven on so the, um, the temperature can begin to increase. And then once it increases, it begins to bake. You put the cake in, it begins to bake because the temperature will be the same. And then when the temperature is off and the cake is finished, then the temperature goes down. Well, cardinal is when you first turn the oven on. Cardinal is like when the temperature is increasing, okay? Um, it hasn't stabilized yet, but it is increasing. Well, that's what cardinal is for Aries. Aries is the type of sign that it builds, okay? It, it moves, it builds, okay? It's behavior, it builds. That's what that means. So um, the first day of Aries season, this is going to mark the start of a new astrological year. Um, this also is the first of the lunar cycle as well. So we got a lot of first that's going on here. The moon in Aries will be in conjunction with um, the comet Chiron. And I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, it's, it's Chiron or Chiron. I'll just put the information below because I can never remember if that CH is silence with shush or K. Okay, so just put that below for me. But it represents deep wounds as well as um, deep healing. Okay, and the alignment of these astrological energies, it, it brings us to uh, a, a bit of transformation, like it's very intense. Our transformation is very intense, but it, it's needed to bring us to this transformational intensity towards that light. That's what it's really trying to do for us. And it's also give, it's given us a feeling that we have to go through the flames to get where we are going. And that's really what, what's happening when you're transforming. Aries is bold and it's brave. Um, but we need, to, and we need to rely on this energy to kind of move us forward to where we're going. Okay. Now you'll decide during this, um, you know, during this full moon um, to take the low road or to take the high road. That's what you're going to be deciding during this period. And you'll have to confront your shadow self 
and the person you are desiring to be. So it's, it's going to be really hitting some things head on during this period. Um, it, it's going to allow you to change your mood. And you're going to get inspired to work on being the best version of you. Okay, so it's very, very important during this new season, this new astrological year, to really make those hard decisions about who you are and who you want to be. Okay, all right, you guys, I love you, love you so much. Now, for those who have gotten the extended, on to your extended. <laughs>